Danny Flexen here for seconds out with my old friend, Sky Sports head of boxing, Adam Smith. Adam, how are you? I'm very good, Danny. Busy day, though. We're slightly late to the press, which is uh, unlike me, but I had a, had a big journey over from Sky. We had loads of meetings this morning. There is a lot happening, as, uh, as you and I know. Boxing is absolutely buzzing. Um, there's stories every day. There's fights every week. Um, it is. I, I, I had a big, actually, big general Sky Sports meeting yesterday uh, with the other sports. And, you know, the, the head of football was there, the, the head of Formula One, all, all the other others and they're fascinated by our schedule it really is a powerful one uh, going forward to the end of December and uh, we're delighted because um, yeah it's it's flying high boxing and um, not just on Sky on BT as well and uh, on all the other channels I was just in LA at the weekend to watch uh, Fox's uh, great output and we covered it too back home for uh, that wonderful fight with Errol Spence and Sean Porter so yeah listen boxing's booming around the around the globe and uh, I know top rank are taking this and we're taking this golden contract this is something new and you know, we're always interested in things like that uh, innovative co competitions and tournaments so uh, yeah listen it's uh, it's just busy times isn't it we're obviously here just after the press conference for the golden contract um, tournament which kicks off on friday night at york hall with the featherweights some really intriguing matches that probably wouldn't have been made without this tournament concept. Was that one of the things that attracted you to take it for Sky Sports? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things, and the draw as well, sort of coming on the week and sort of, you know, who's going to pick who and is he going to avoid him because of the orthodox and southpaw? Or he's the favourite, actually... As Lee Wood said, I fancy him. I fancy a difficult one first. So, look, it's, um, it's a great concept. Um, actually, it came to me a while ago. Matt Macklin uh, told me all about it. Obviously, a very close colleague of mine um, and uh, has been involved with MTK. And MTK have a huge amount of fighters. Uh, my first caller was obviously to Eddie Hearn. He's our exclusive promoter. And uh, Eddie was very up for it as well. Um, so, it's really good that we can bring something like this to, to Sky Sports. Um, anything that sort of increases our schedule and uh, packs it out for the customers is good, you know. And... I think we've had, uh, obviously, a lot of international fights over the year. We've had uh, some good domestic shows, but we've got some really, really good match from UK domestic shows coming up uh, until Christmas. We've got the one in uh, Newcastle in September, which I can't wait for, the, uh, um, the Ritson and uh, Robbie Davis fights. At very bad blood there. And Savannah Marshall uh, uh, on the card as well, and uh, Ted Cheeseman and Fitzgerald. It's, it's a great card, that, in the northeast. We've got the wonderful uh, Manchester uh, Arena for uh, uh, Katie Taylor. Taylor, um, delighted to have her and worked very hard on that whole bill actually with Joshua Boazzi and Anthony Crawler's sort of goodbye fight. So delighted to have Katie at prime time uh, for the Irish and, and the UK audiences in Manchester. Uh, Joshua Boazzi and, and Katie Taylor are a, a good a good blend together on the same show there. So so lovely outside the ring, so quiet and calm and so ferocious and fantastic to watch inside the ring and obviously Anthony Crawler brilliant and then you've got Callum Smith uh, possibly the standout fight on Sky Sports for, for the uh, autumn winter period November the 23rd in, uh, in Liverpool uh, can't wait for that so some really powerful match from UK shows to end the year on and you add a, a next gen or two that we'll be doing JD next gen and then add this tournament too you know we've got the quarterfinals before Christmas at the three different weights and the semis and final the business end at the uh, as we go to uh, towards the summer part of 2020 and uh, yeah it's just a really good idea prize fighter people laughed at it at first and what a great run we had with that i would say of i don't know how many there were 40 50 prize fighters there was maybe two or three that sort of failed to deliver the others were fantastic unsung heroes great stories people had a real chance you know audley harrison even came through that martin rogan winning the inaugural one the cab driver absolutely fantastic i, I remember him i could see him lee wood just out the corner of my eye uh, the nottingham man he says he's number one. And I tell you what, maybe he will end up number one. But uh, Ryan Walsh, probably the favourite. What I like about this tournament, Danny, is that actually it's not the sort of the quick blast, which was great on one night with a cash prize. But this is, you know, the 10 rounds. This is sort of high quality boxing, as you said, with, with fighters that maybe have slipped under the radar, haven't had the opportunities. Not only do they have the opportunities to, to fight and get food to the end of a tournament, but they've got the, the golden contract at the end and the chance then to really make some money for the winner or of it, so it's, uh, it's life-changing.